In this video, I'm going to explain how to use the arrange function in the dplyr package. The arrange function is just used for sorting data within R. I'm going to use the mtcars dataset, uh, which is a built-in dataset within R. So just copy this code to bring the same data into your R console. So here's the data set. So let's say if we wanted to arrange the cars column from A to Z, that's when we would use the arrange function. So we'll store the results into a variable called result. So we type in arrange. The first argument is the name of the data set that we want to arrange a column within. In this case, it's data. And the second argument will just be the name of the column that you would like to arrange. In this case, it's cars. So let's view the result. So you can see here in the cars column, it arranged the name of the cars from A to Z. Now for text variables, uh, it defaults from A to Z. But if you wanted to change that to go from Z to A, you can just add the DESC argument for descending. So I'll show you that. And you can see now that the cars variable is sorted from Z to A. It works the same way for numeric variables. So in this case, we can sort a cylinder. And for numeric variables, the default is to do smallest to largest. So you can see that here. So again, it's the data set, the name of the variable you'd like to arrange. And you can see now that cylinder is arranged from smallest to largest. And now again, if you wanted to change the default order of this, instead of smallest to largest, you wanted to do largest to smallest, you would again just add the descending argument. And you can now see that the cylinder variable is sorted from largest to smallest. And now you can add multiple column names within the range function. So let's say if you wanted to sort cylinder from smallest to largest and then within each group of cylinder you wanted to arrange cars from A to Z. So you would just write the first column you want to sort and then the second column you want to sort within that first column. So you can now see that cylinder is arranged from smallest to largest and within each group of cylinder we have cars arranged from A to Z. So we have group 4 for cylinder and then that goes from A to Z, and then it resets when cylinder goes into group six, and so on. And speaking of groups, you can also use arrange with a grouped data set. So I'll create one here. So here we're just creating a data set that's grouped by cylinder. And now we can arrange any variable we want within cylinder. We'll sort gear from smallest to largest. So in order for a range to recognize that this is a grouped data set, we have to add one argument and that's dot by underscore group equals true. Without adding this argument, it'll just arrange the data set as if it were not grouped. So as you can see, it has groups of cylinder, and within each group, it arranged gear from smallest to largest. And I only see this as useful if you already happen to have a group data set, because it's really just the same thing as adding multiple column names. So in this case, if we add in uh, cylinder and gear, we'll get the same result as we did before. Another interesting thing we can do within a range is use the across and starts with function. So we'll say starts with C. Let's see what happens. So what this does is it looks across the data set and it arranges in order all the variables that start with C. So what it does is it says this is the first C, so this is the first arrangement. Then within this arrangement, it looks over to the next C. This happens to be carb, so then it sorts it here. And then it looks over to the next C, and then it sorts within this group. 
So it's really the same thing as just writing this example in cars. So if we write this, we'll get the same exact result. Uh, it starts with C, it just will add all the C variables in order to where it's found within the column names. And that's really all you need to know about the arrange function.